Welcome to TRS Clips, India's fastest learning portal. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon. Nowadays, scientists are claiming that there's people with a parallel copy existing in real life. I think what he means to say is, if there is Ranveer in this universe, in another universe is another version of me doing other things or is an evil version of me. Um, like, what, what, what is this theory? Are there other versions of me in other places? So it's the uh, many worlds theory. Uh, every action that you take, it's a choice. So maybe there are multiple choices that you had and you, and you picked one. Mm. So when you do that, the world branches off into two different forks. In one fork, you are here, you have to, taken one, one choice. In the other one, you have taken some other choice. So every time you make a choice or you think about something or, or you interact with the world in a certain way, the world branches off. Mm. So eventually, over the years, where two very different runway, runways may occur, may, mm. may emerge out of this. In who two have taken universes. Yes, and two parallel universes. And who have, uh, who have chosen uh, very different uh, paths of life. Mm. It is possible. Mm. So according to this theory, if this theory is correct, then it is going to be that way. That mm. you may have a multitude of versions of yourself. Mm. And you are living all the possible choices and outcomes that you may ever be able to take in your life. Another beautiful mind-bending hypothesis with respect to what you just said is, you know, sometimes, what is your intuition? Your gut feeling is a voice inside you saying, yo, do this. Be with this person. Don't be with this person. Don't take up this business deal. Stay away from this person. There's a voice inside you. So if there I say it. that, sir, close your eyes and think of your name. It's coming out of a certain place. Now, is this voice the future version of you warning you or guiding you to the correct paths? <laughs> we will not know. <laughs> But yeah, who knows? Mm. It may be true. You know, so like like when I look back at my own life, career-wise, okay, I'm not talking about engineering college. I'm talking about after. I've cut off certain mentors from my life who were giving me wrong advice. But I realized that only after a certain point. They also gave me some right advice, which is why they stayed mentors for a bit. Now, after a point, I realized, no, no, I think I've outgrown this person's wisdom pool. And I used to get voices in my head saying, no, no, what he's saying is wrong. Mm -hmm. Or don't, don't listen to this. Yes. Or no, you know, this may not be entirely correct. Now, when I'm thinking about my life right now and I'm going back to those conversations in my own mind, I think, thank God I didn't listen to that guy at that point because that was wrong advice. Thank God I did what my gut was saying. Could it be that this version of me is thinking back and looking back is actually communicating somewhere with that version of me, which heard a voice saying, hey man, don't listen to this guy or get out of this room. So if there is some possibility of communication at some level with a parallel uni universe and a parallel version of yourself, then maybe that's the maybe. that's the voice. But if there are an infinite number of versions of you, then you may have an infinite number of voices in your head. So that also not that also doesn't make sense. It's right. Too, too so maybe there's another Ranveer who did not take the choice, make the choice that you have made, mm. and who stayed with that mentor. Mm. So maybe that Ranveer has taken a completely different path in life. Mm. But are you able to communicate with that specific Ranveer or not? We don't know. I think the voice in our head is our own intuition. It, it's it's within our own consciousness in this this universe mm. itself. That is my feeling about it. And, and consciousness is something beyond time. Consciousness exists as much in 2025 as it does in the age of the dinosaurs. It's very possible, yes. We don't know what consciousness is. There is no scientific definition of consciousness. It's the biggest mystery in science. Mm. We know it exists. We are trying to understand what it is, but we don't have the fuzziest idea of even how to define it. Mm. So in science, when you create a theory, you have to define something. What is a proton? What's an electron? You define it first, and only then do you study it. Mm. But we don't know what consciousness is. We don't know how to define it. Mm. We don't know where it emerges from. We don't know if it is localized, if it is somewhere else. Yeah. So... It's an entire field, but it is very strongly connected to quantum mechanics because the observer effect seems to, to need a consciousness for it to happen. That's mm -hmm. a possibility. Coming back to this theory of infinite Ranveers. Yeah. Now that Ranveer in that room who was talking to that mentor and feeling that, no, no, I shouldn't listen to this dude giving me wrong advice in life. He listened to some voice, which is called consciousness. Consciousness is infinite, but it's Ranveer's consciousness at some level. Therefore, there are infinite Ranveers, positive ones and negative ones. That Ranveer in that room who chose to listen to the positive Ranveers, who were telling him what to do in life, who go down the right paths, versus another human being. Now, I'm not like, I mean, this is just Ranveer's situation. 
what if there's a negative human being let's call him um you know something from b okay bunty a negative guy he chooses to listen to all the negative bunties in his own consciousness therefore he ends up taking the wrong decisions so on an everyday level do you think and this is i'm asking the scientist as well as the thinker the philosopher do you think that that's the logic of staying positive thinking that no jo like so there's a hindi muhavra that says jo tha wo bhi acha tha jo ho raha hai wo bhi acha hai aur jo hone wala hai wo bhi acha hi hoga so when you start perceiving life with that kind of a prism those kind of rose tinted glasses when you start seeing positivity where there is not where you say all is well where things well, it's not really well well yeah then <clears throat> do all the positive versions of you from other parallel universes give you the right thing because you're more in sync with all of them well that's a theory i don't know <laughs> we cannot prove it or disprove it right but it is possible yes okay but do you think of scenarios like this for yourself because after all, you gained all this quantum physics knowledge all this knowledge about physics in general about the universe in general plus i know you're a thinker it affects your thinking the thing is i think about all kinds of things but i don't have any certainty because in science what i have realized is that we don't know anything mm-hmm. we don't know anything for certain so there are these different interpretations of quantum mechanics but we don't know if each of these is right only one could be right or maybe none of them is correct mm. so people who who know less they are very certain about things people who know beyond a certain level they are very uncertain about things because we know that there is so much that is not known to us yeah so it is difficult for you to make a value judgment and say that yeah this is the right thing so i don't know my answer is i don't know true knowledge is knowing that you know nothing possibly yeah. yeah and then we have people with a very limited amount of good knowledge they probably have good knowledge but think that they know everything so therefore have opinions on everything yes very judgmental people right yeah yeah they say that great minds discuss ideas and narrow minds discuss other people <laughs> so yeah that's right anyway um okay let's get back to that round of twitter questions some indian scientists like ak mitra acharya agnivrat neshtik believe that a black hole doesn't exist why do they say so this question is from devang sharma so the thing is this that um, there are certain theories which say that there there could be objects like magnetic stars and all that which are also very compact objects which are also dark and therefore they could look the same as a black hole so if you have an object like a magnetic com- compact object and a black hole sitting side by side you will not be able to tell which is which mm. because they have very similar properties now general relativity tells us that black holes do exist they should exist but there are other theories which say that other kinds of objects could also exist so these are valid scientific theories these are not these are not nonsense but i would my belief and my certainty is that black holes do exist and the world is riddled with them because we have seen signs of black holes we know that there is a big black hole at the center of our galaxy we have recently taken a snapshot of a different black hole in an, in another galaxy it was the event horizon telescope so there is a significant amount of incontrovertible proof that black holes do exist that they, they are out there but other kinds of objects more exotic objects could also exist so i am open to that but i would not agree that black holes are are not true they, they are fiction that's not correct correct yeah i mean maybe they call it something else but it is a subs- it is an object with a lot of gravity yes yes very compact so it's very gravitationally strong so you know theoretically how we have those images of the milky way like i'm mm-hmm. sure those aren't real image like there's no device to take a real image like a photograph of the milky way no no we don't we cannot do that but when we talk about the milky way how it's that circular shape Yes, and spiral it's, shape. Yeah, yeah, it's spiraling around something. Yes, uh, which is supposed to be that black hole. Yes, but when you said exotic object, what did you mean? Like, what else can be there? So there are other theories in which you have very compact gravitationally bound objects which have a very high uh, amount of magnetism. Okay, because they have a lot of charge in there, but they are they, they their radius is greater than what would be the event horizon of that mm. that object. Mm. Therefore, they are not technically black holes, but they are very similar, very similar to black holes, and they are very dark. so there are many such theories out there you can construct a theory basically using this uh, the laws of physics which comes up with all kinds of different uh, phenomena mm. and these could exist somewhere or the other for example in the theory of, theory of electromagnetism there is something called a magnetic monopole so maxwell's equations do tell us that magnetic monopoles should exist so if you take a magnet it has a north pole and a south pole you cut it in half both the magnets will have north pole and south pole right oh. they always they always have two poles mm. but according to the theory of electromagnetism according to maxwell's equations 
there could even exist monopoles.